Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books, and it is, what is, what is today? It is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022. I'm at home, and today I picked up a bunch of books, mostly books, some, uh, well, a couple of DVDs, a Blu-ray, some CDs, but mostly books, like 95% books. <clears throat> so that was great. Um... Most of them will go on my local sale and four boxes worth. So that was nice. But what I want to talk about today is repricing your FBA inventory. So my question is, what is your monthly sell-through rate or percentage for FBA? Books. I'm talking about books, of course. Books, books, books. If you only sell CDs or if you have a mixture, you could let me know as well. But what is your monthly sell-through rate or percentage for books with FBA? Um, and I'm also curious to know... Okay, also as part of that question, what is the sell-through rate if you do not use a repricer? So you do not use it. Or if you do use a repricer, what, you know... Let, let me know the percentage. Also, how big is your inventory? Um, and are you sending in shipments weekly, monthly, multiple times a week, every two weeks, you know, every quarter? I don't know, whatever it is. Um, also, it would be interesting to know what if you've done, if you if you've done, let's say, three to six months, at least a good amount of time. Um, of no repricer versus using a repricer. And of course, I'm talking about an automatic repricer, like reprice it, where you set up rules and it does it for you. And then also I'd be curious to know if you reprice daily, multiple times a day, weekly, whatever it is. I'm assuming if you're using an automatic repricer that you're doing it daily, but who knows? Also, <laughs> if you're gonna respond, there's gonna be a lot of information. Also, whether or not um, you are matching the lowest FBA price or whether you are undercutting it. You might not want to divulge that information. I have never been a fan of undercutting, but, you know, whether you're doing it manually or automatically through a repricer, but um, whatever, I'd be interested to know. Because I was looking at my FBA inventory, so I which is mostly books. There are some CDs, certain percentage, a good amount, but I've been sending in, well, that's not true. I mean, I've been sending in probably a little more books than I have I have CDs, although I did send in quite a few CDs. What am I saying? From Excuse me, from those Gaylords, but lately it's been mostly books. But if I start getting Gaylords again, I'll probably start sending in more CDs. Definitely will. But lately it's been books, and um, I got off on a sidetrack side track there, off on a tangent, but I would... Um, I was looking at my inventory and I, so I've been working on building back up my Amazon inventory in general, whether it's FBA or Merchant Fulfilled, but uh, I've really been trying to do a lot more FBA to build that up as well. And I've been doing about, um, averaged out for a couple of months, I've been doing a, about a, almost a weekly shipment. Recently, I did a, a bunch, uh, a couple in like a week, week and a half, but averaged out, it's around eh, one every seven to 10 days, roughly. Um, and I have plenty to do right now. I have another shipment I'm going to do, one big shipment of mostly books, almost entirely books with a couple of CDs. And I picked up some more books um, recently as well. So that being said, I've been wondering, because I've been looking at my numbers, I've been wondering what your sell-through rate is. So I looked at mine for the last 30 days, just FBA, and it was around 13% for the month, for the month. So 13% for the month. I'm not talking about daily. I'm talking about monthly. Um, so yeah, I remember when I used to do FBA only or had a much bigger inventory and was, was shipping regularly that I was always around 20 plus percent for FBA. Um, so I'm below where I used to be. Also, though, I do not 
send as many books in as consistently. I'm trying to, you know, ramp that up. <laughs> but as I used to, where I would all every week I'd be sending in books, even if it was only 20 or 30 books, I I do at least a shipment a week, if not more, sometimes multiple shipments a week. Um, which of course helps your sell through rate because sending in fresh inventory, uh, you know, is chances are as long as the books are priced right and the kind of books are going to sell quickly, they should sell quicker. So that helps you sell a higher percentage. But of course, you're adding more to your inventory. Your inventory goes up. So the percentage might go down, et cetera, et cetera. But um, yeah, I was always around 20%. Sometimes it would dip below. Sometimes it would go above. I was never at 30 or 40%, but I always felt whether you had a repricer or not, that was going to be pretty hard to hit. I just um, did a quick re uh, search through a Facebook group that is about reselling books on Amazon. And I was seeing, you know, these, were, these were posts from mostly last year, a couple from a couple years ago, but uh, people were saying they were giving daily sell through rates saying anywhere from like one to three percent which if my math is right if you're doing it one percent a day doesn't that mean 30 percent a month if you're doing two percent that means you're doing 60 percent a month which seems crazy i mean you must be sending in books that are just selling quickly um the other thing is i remember this is just a side note back before we had the fee pop what do they call it fee apocalypse for Amazon when they increased the fees um, significantly and a lot of people left back in 2018, I believe. Um, you were able, before that, you were able to send in a lot of fast selling, smaller profit, like three to five dollar profit, more like four to six dollar profit books that would sell for like 10, 11, 12 dollars. And they would sell really quick and those would help increase your sell through rates. But now um, those kind of books are not profitable, even if you're getting them for free. So it's not really worth sending them in. Uh, so yeah, so that kind of was part of the equation. But um, so basically my whole thing is for my merchant fulfilled inventory, I use the Amazon repricer and I just match the lowest merchant fulfilled price. And um, merchant fulfilled is always gonna sell slower in general. I mean, generally speaking, I won't say always, but generally speaking, that is that is kind of the the way it goes. Um, unless you're sending in really uh, long tail FBA books or books that you just should not sell into F send into FBA to sell, to resell. But, um, I'm wondering, you know, I, I'm not consider I'm not seriously considering getting an automatic repricer right now, but I'm just wondering if you use a repricer, you know, where, where is your, what is your sell through rate? It's hard to judge because everybody's book inventory is different. Um, and of course, everyone's sending in different levels of books, which, like I said, is going to affect it. Um, and you might, you know, you might have access to books that are really quick selling books. And then that's different than someone, you know, that sends in stuff that might take a little bit longer to sell, but you're still going to make profit. I mean, I'm still making money with FBA. I'm still getting uh, paid every two weeks and um, sending in more inventory and selling on Merchant Fulfilled and all that. But of course, I always want to increase it, but I don't, I always have the fear of using an automatic repricer as losing control. And, you know, I have to learn a whole new software and even just to get the basics down, um, that kind of thing. Of course, I could set time aside to reprice, not daily, but even just once or twice a week, but I have not done that. Um, so I'm just curious also if you reprice manually, um, I'm assuming if you don't reprice automatically, use a software that you're doing it either not at all or manually. And so let me know as well, if you're doing it manually, how often you're doing that. You're doing it every day. You're doing it a couple times a week, once a week, once a month, whatever it is. Sometimes, you know, if I'll reprice like 100 or 200 books and I won't see much, much of a increase in sales. Um, and then sometimes I'll, I'll reprice, you know, a certain amount and I'll see a, a little bump and some of them will sell. So it's not always, I've always, and I've seen both, go, I've seen it go both ways. Um, yeah. So let me know. Hold on one sec. Yeah. Let me know either way. Uh, I'd just be curious. Probably those that are using re repricing software are gung ho about it and say, uh, there's no way you should sell on Am sell books on Amazon uh, FBA if you're not using a repricer, et cetera, et cetera. 
Other thing I don't like about repricing is, is all of the people, whether they're mega sellers or medium sized sellers or small sellers like myself that undercut prices, because that's really, you know, I could go on for a long time about it. And I have in the past in videos, but I think that's the, one of the worst things about Amazon is all of the undercutting. Instead of doing that, why don't we just match and stay at the price and then someone will buy it. It is FBA, it is Prime, it is Amazon. Someone's going to buy it anyway. So why why are so many people trying to drop that price consistently um, and even undercutting by way more than a penny, you know, 50 cents a dollar, two dollars just to get the next sale when if everybody would just get along? <laughs> Common sense to me, right? Everyone would just match the lowest price and then just stay there. And if no one dropped below, well, guess what? The next seller would have to just make a decision not based on price, but based on um, the seller. So the metrics, their condition notes, that kind of thing. Crazy idea, right? So let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know. Um, I'm sure this is what I'm going to predict that those that don't use a repricer are going to say, don't use a repricer. Even if your numbers go up, it's too risky. And those that use a repricer will say it's worth the risk. You'll sell through more. You'll make more money, learn the software, all that kind of stuff. But I'm still curious to know, let me know in the, in the comments below. And we'll see. We'll go from there. I'll make a, uh, another video about it with the responses and see what you guys said. So give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please, it does help with the algorithms with the, uh, my channel and my videos and all of that for more people to see it. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Because I talk about everything that has to do with um, reselling books and media on Amazon, eBay, as well as locally in my local store, book and media store. Um, also, I've been doing daily vlogs since the beginning of 2022, so that's different. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe.